happening um, about the ICC. The International Conference Center in Enugu. So we have an update on it. So rehabilitation started um, this year and um, sometime early this year. And um, according to the governor, we're going to, it's, going to be, it's going to be finished yes. by May. It's something we've been, because whenever we, we pass around there, right, I, I always have this conversation with anybody or definitely a friend or, 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 or thereabouts about why are we just living in this structure? Yeah. Just wasting, because this is money. This is revenue for the state. But it's, it's a good thing, it's a big deal that um, the governor, Pitamba, is now investing yeah. and trying to like finish up this structure so it starts functioning. So the Edingu International Conference Center, it was abandoned for no less than 17 years, I think two tenures, two yeah. complete tenures, and is currently undergoing construction as implemented by Governor Pitamba of Enugu State. Akia TV correspondent Victor Chukujeku was there yesterday and returned with a progress report. Let's take a look. In keeping with Governor Pitamba's commitment to revive dormant assets in the state, the Enugu International Conference Center appears to be witnessing a transformation with the aim of the center to serve as a hub for conferences, exhibitions, and trade shows. The contract manager and CEO of I Group of Companies, Ike Obidile, assured that this project will attract prospective investors and be of great benefits to the state. During a site inspection yesterday by the Enugu State Commissioner for Culture and Tourism, Dame Ugochi Madweke, she explained that the renovation has been an extensive endeavor aimed at modernizing and enhancing the conference center's offerings from infrastructure upgrades to advanced technology implementation. I am excited. I am very, very excited. I am happy because then we're coming back to life. As you can see, the project has gone 70% and we have only 30% remaining. And by the special grace of God, before the end, of the last quarter of the year, this place will be commissioned. It will sell Enugu, project Enugu to the world. People will now come in from all over the world. We are inviting, especially the institutional bodies, MBA, uh, ICANN, everybody should come down to Enugu for their conferences. We have about three conference halls here. We have the, the dome, which takes about 500. We have the major hall, the multipurpose hall, which sits about 3,000 people. And then we have another multipurpose hall over there. That one sits about 1,500. And we have ample shops to let. The Enugu International Conference Center is beyond Enugu. It's beyond Southeast. It's even beyond Nigeria. It is, it is global. It's not just for Enugu citizens. No, it's, it's, it's a global thing. It's a global thing. This is the place. This is the arena. This is the 042 arena. This is the International Conference Center where businesses thrive, where businesses, if you start today, by tomorrow you have, this is where you get your return of investment. Thank you, Afia TV. Thank you to His Excellency, Dr. Peter Ndubisimba, for bringing light into Enugu, for rebuilding and revamping this abandoned international conference center. God will bless you for doing this, His Excellency. Nde Enugu, our tomorrow is indeed here. Since Afia TV's last visit, the center appears to have evolved in various aspects, one of which is the expansion of exhibition halls. According to the contractor, the expansion is expected to attract a wide range of international exhibitions and trade shows to the state to promote economic growth and foster global collaboration. Um, by the grace of God, the project has been wonderful, moving at a record speed because um, we've had the, all the necessary support from the government of Enugu State and would like to thank, thank His Excellency for making our work easier, you know. So it has been moving at record speed and um, we're looking at delivering on or before the last quarter of this year. Well, the challenges, I might say, uh, we've dealt with most of them. The one that was an issue really was the water because it was costing us a lot to procure water. But right now, with the cooperation of the Enugu State Water Board, we should be having our own water directly from them early next week. This place is a place where buyers and sellers meet. It's a major hub. We have everything for everyone in this place. You know, um, like we rightly say that um, it's uh, the jewel of the East, but we are expanding it, the jewel of Nigeria, and it's from Enugu to the rest of the world. Now, it's going to be, it's going to attract tourists. 
you know, you can imagine, like I rightly say at times that um, someone wants to bring, because we're going to have over there to that side, we're going to have the nature's park where children and all that children will come and have a nice time. And when the children come there, I'm just giving you an example. When the children come around, you know, children don't go around without a caregiver. They will come with their parents. Now, while the parents are here, the parents who are out getting something for themselves. Now, we say it's a one-stop hub because everything you need is here. They'll write this thing and it's not for everyone. Permit me to say that it's not for everyone. We're going to bring the best of the best and put here and make what they have to travel for available here. According to an earlier interview with the project manager, Christopher Moses, technological advancements have played a pivotal role in the renovation project. According to Mr. Christopher Moses, attendees can expect seamless connectivity and enhanced engagement throughout their event experiences. Following completion of the inspection, Dame Ugochi expressed her gratitude to the project team and the stakeholders involved. The completion of the project may represent a milestone in positioning the state's international conference center as a destination for global events. In Enugu State, Victor Chukuge reporting for Afia TV. Thank you very much, Victor, for that report. You know, it's really beautiful to see that, um, to see the progress after being abandoned for over 17 years. Yeah. And, you know, before the last quarter of the year, we're going to finally have this, you know, the Commissioner for Tourism, you know, she, looking beautiful as always, she had a lot so excited, to say. excited, yeah. You know, she was very excited and calling I'm excited too, by the way. Yeah, I'm excited because it's, it's just a structure just dumped there and just rotting away that should be generating revenue for Enugu State and its people, right? And I, this was a vision of, uh, that, um, that, that was um, um, Shemaruki and Namani, right? And uh, it, it wasn't carried on, right? Because this is what we always talk about, um, how to carry on uh, um, continuity, co continuity in, in, governance, in, in yeah. governance is very important. No matter what the... Irrespective of the parties yeah, and all those.